you know, we follow, of course, all the data. So we saw what was happening in China, you know, when, when it hit there uh, in December and January of 2020. We knew it was going to come to this country. Uh, and, I, you know, we didn't know how fast and we didn't know how prepared we were as a country. Um, but certainly in March, uh, when it began to take off in the US, we had lots of discussions. I did lots of webinars for people on what was likely to be the trajectory in the US. And because, uh, because we spend a lot of time understanding our healthcare system and know how different it is from what the systems are in Asia and in Europe, uh, we, we predicted we would be very hard hit as a country and that it would be a big challenge in our country. I don't think we predicted it would become as political an issue as it has become. And so the whole issue about, you know, the preventive steps that people take with masks and with social distancing, you know, early on, I don't think we thought those would be quite as political as they have unfortunately become. Um, but it's been really an education, I think, on the importance of the work you do. You know, how do we communicate to people? What, what is the, how do public health professionals get across these important measures that people need to take and why? And I think that's something we've really been tracking through this whole pandemic. 